Hey guys, John V here from Phone Reno. Right now I'm taking a first look between the Motorola Moto X and the Apple iPhone 5. We just heard about the Moto X just announced very recently. Take a quick quick look at these devices and how they stack up against one another. Now in terms of the size, you could tell the difference here, almost identical, which is pretty amazing for the Moto X considering that it has the larger display between the two. It's a 4.7 inch AMOLED display. It's a uh, it's 720p, uh, so it, it beats out the iPhone 5 in terms of the pure resolution because the iPhone 5 has a resolution of 1136 by 640. Um, and on top of that, it's almost just uh, fantastic that Motorola's been able to make a handset, even with a larger screen, that pretty much mimics the size of the iPhone 5. Uh, very form-fitting and natural. Uh, we definitely like how the Moto X feels in the hand. It just has a very nice ergonomic uh, feel to it, especially due to the uh, rounded uh, Casing, whereas the iPhone 5 is a little bit more flat around the uh, around the back here, so it does make it a little bit sharp too when you hold it. A choice of materials, though, the rubbery finish is nice on the Moto X. It just gives it a nice clean clean finish. It's a composite material, rubbery feel. It, it's a different contrast to the iPhone 5's brush aluminum casing. Now I have it here; it's just a decal, but underneath that, of course, is just that brush aluminum casing. So the iPhone 5 still exhibits the uh, premium aspect, whereas the uh, and the Moto X is a little bit more humble with its design characteristics, plastic versus metal. So, you know, some people will prefer the metal over the plastic, but the, the in the hand feel definitely ha goes to the Moto X. The displays are nice and sharp. IPS LCD versus the uh, the AMOLED display in the uh, Moto, Moto X. And uh, of course, they have their own perks. For example, you have uh, good viewing angles with both, but you have more saturated color tones with the uh, AMOLED display of the Moto X, whereas the uh, the uh, IPS LCD panel in the uh, in the uh, iPhone 5 is a little bit more 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 natural and more accurate. We could see here. Let's see if we can get a closer look at their their clarity. If we take a look at the uh, web pages here from a zoomed out view, honestly, it's pretty much identical. Very hard to tell exactly which one's going to beat out who. So they're still both nice and sharp. Uh, no issues as far as making out even fine details in the web browser. Uh, they're powered by different processors naturally. Uh, you have the Moto X8 com mobile computing system in the Moto X and the Apple A6 X Apple A6 processor in the uh, iPhone 5. They're both very snappy and quick, so that's nice. And as far as the rest, uh, you have a 10 megapixel uh, camera on the uh, on the Moto X, it's a clear pixel, utilizes a totally different technology, whereas the iPhone 5 has that 8 megapixel uh, um, eyesight camera in its rear. Both have the ability to shoot 1080p videos. Android versus iOS, of course, we all know a difference. You get a little bit more personalization with the, with the Android experience, whereas the iPhone 5, you're going to have just um, you know, a little bit more static approach with the layout of the UI. And the last thing worth noting here is just uh, availability. Moto X, the nice thing about it is that it's all coming out to all four major carriers in the US, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and same thing, we know that the iPhone 5 is currently available with all of them as well. So it's gonna be interesting how they stack up in the end, but if you wanna learn more about both handsets, guys, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V, thanks for watching.